I mean, you probably yeah. could just fit on one table, but. I call the uh, April 25th Conservation Commission meeting to order at 7.03. Um, let's do a roll call vote, which we never do, but I think it's a good idea. Joel McKibben, Chairman. Thomas Levesque, Vice Chairman. Marion Godzik, Board Member. Matt Lepore, Alternate. Jack Hurden, Alternate. Harry Menzigian, Alternate. Excellent. So we are missing two people tonight. Um, I'll wait a few minutes. They don't come, then I'll appoint the alternates to uh, voting members. Uh, actually, I have to do that now because we only have three, so we need four. So, Matt, I'll appoint you as a voting member. Okay. Thank you. So just make sure you get that, Matt, as yeah. a voting member. Okay. Running down the agenda. Um, I sent you, I believe, the memorandum of understanding. I didn't, the know, Merrimack I did River. not receive that either. Nobody else did. Um, all right. Let's leave that till further down and I'll run in and get it. Troy Brown had written up a mem memorandum of understanding. Um, for the river access facility, which involves the Conservation Commission as the entity that controls the land. The um, Recreation Commission will be maintaining it and the selectmen will oversee the entire project. Okay. Um, the selectmen first saw it this past Monday and I haven't heard feedback from that yet. Um, it's in the development stage and can be changed. <clears throat> Um, the, does anybody else have any new business? Because I was at a loss for new business. Did I, I get sworn in? Did you get sworn in? Again. Did no. you get sworn in yet? No. Okay, your term would continue on as long as you're not replaced, but you need to get sworn in. So I have to come, come down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, there was something else I was going to mention. I can't think of and that. And by the way, we have no public, so public input is no. Um, the birdhouse project, how's that going? So all the birdhouses are complete. Right. And so I was, I, I would look through the agenda, like a couple, or I was just looking through it and I saw the placement of houses and I thought of some ideas, but I just didn't know if like they were okay, potentially. Like I didn't know if like you guys were, thinking they were okay, but I have a list of some. If, I don't know if we want to discuss. Depending. Yeah, like the only one I have is Morse Falls. They need to be replaced up there. And I, somewhere, we need a, a field and then back up to, um, it can be backed up to woods, but they need a field because they eat off the ground, the bluebirds do. What do you have for ideas? So I saw that Parker's Park. Parker Park. By like, the Pinecrest, and then next to it, I think it's McElwin, like right next to the old Steve Normanton Beef area. There's like as soon as like you walk down or you drive down Pinecrest, there's like this field. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's um, Normanton is leasing that from um, Mananuck Trust, but we could ask him about that if he hasn't put cattle in that field in a while. That first field at Pinecrest, uh, and then uh, Wilson owns. The, the big field as you pull into Parker Park parking lot in front of you, that Wilson owns all that. And I don't know what they do for chemicals or whatever they have, but we could ask Normanton. That's a good idea. What's the name of that place up north there where the old Bluebird houses is? What? Morse Falls. Oh, that's it. What else did you have? Uh, I didn't know if this was okay, but the, the Merrimack Riverfront Access area, because it's a nice open field and it's, I, I guess it's somewhat or... Well, then you mean the new one? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I think we should leave that one alone for a while because that's going to be tilled and then they'll be working in there all the time. So st I would save that one for a, a while, see what happens there. Anything uh -oh. else? Dara Pond, potentially? I don't know if that's... Um, maybe around the edge of the field towards the woods. I'll have to see what they use for chemicals there. I'm sure they fertilize. Oh, uh, there's the soccer field too in the back by off of a brickyard. That's right. Oh, that's right. Right, 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 right. Yeah. That's right. 
And if we don't get them all up this year, we definitely have to get Morris Falls up right away. Um, next year, February, March, we should get them up, or actually even in the fall this year. You have anything else? Okay. Um, I don't know if these ones were okay, but like Duck Pond or Rocky Hill Pond Lot it's or private something. Property. Private property. Private um, property. Maybe Bixby Meadow. I didn't know if that area was. I think we we own the part. If you walk in from Martin Lane, um, I think this is Bixby Meadow. You walk in from Martin Lane, where we have the sign across from Blackbird Lane, and in the back, I think that's Bixby. Might not be enough um, grassy area there. Okay, what else? Um, maybe there, I don't know if it's possible, but like the school conservation land at all? Like by LMS, there's like a big area. Yeah, behind know. LMS, um, there's the power line. And then, I've never really seen blue, but where I've seen them is, oh, you know what would be a good place? Down by the salmon facility, because I've seen them down there. Yeah, they're going to be excavating down there shortly. Yeah. Running the pipes in and stuff. Yeah, so it wouldn't be good to do that this year. But um, behind the middle school on the power line might be okay. I had a bluebird in, up on my deck the other day. Oh, we'll on your deck. <laughs> and then, because well, we've got so many, maybe, you know, we might have to ask some people if they want to put them on private property. Mm -hmm. so, but but uh, and Roger isn't here to um, want to find out about the polls. I did ask him. And I think he hadn't purchased them yet, but we need to get them up at Morris Falls. And the other place, good place, is um, on the parcel across from Litchfield Garage down on the river. But I don't know if all that's being sold right now, but still might be a good location. I know it's on hold. On hold. I know I to tell you. What? Um, Jefferson's house is up for sale. Yeah, I yeah. saw that. Um, Okay, so let's keep those places in mind. I'll get a hold of Roger if he doesn't come in tonight. And um, what is your availability coming up the next couple of weeks? Well, I'm going to be done with school on May 8th. So then other than that, it's pretty open. So Good. I can okay. use you pretty flexible. I'll get your phone number after. I might have it on the log, but um, I'll get it. I'll get you in touch with Roger. All righty. Um, and you have the birdhouses at your house, right? I do, yes. Good. That's right. The mapping project, I only put that on there to carry it from last mo month. Um, have you heard any more about Mr. Thompson? Thompson, that's going to say that. Yeah, I um, I haven't been in contact with him li lately. He just um, he mapped um, Morse Falls conservation okay. area. I don't know if I sent that map out to you, to everybody on the email, but he did a pretty good job. It came up very nice. Okay. Um, I'll get in contact with him and see what he's up to. Did he do anything in the state forest for mapping? He did. He did a he did a map for the state forest. Actually, I have a picture of both maps here. Um, yeah, he. I think you had sent us the state forest a while ago. Yeah. Um, yeah, he did one where he showed all the trails, the, the contour lines, and the actual borders of the property. So okay. he's he's doing a good job. If you could send those two out again, that would be good because I okay. I'll search back to find him. Already, uh, anything else on the mapping project that you know of? Oh, not currently, no. Okay. The river access, I am pleased to say, started this Monday, and it looks like they are close to finishing. Yeah, they had a, a huge Friday. They dropped off a huge. I guess it's called a backhoe. It is. Yeah, six foot um, digger on it. And Jason, Brennan, and I went down Monday because Rick said they would be um, measuring it off and. We should go down mid morning. Well, we got down there at eight o'clock, and they were they were ready to go. They were already going, so we measured it off with the fellows from Continental, and uh, we and Jay just a little bit pulled it up off the knoll a little bit, um, left enough room so a tractor, if it wanted to, could get around to the south side of the drive. Um, and it's they look like they they were going to put down um, a base. They dug out and they could put down a base course. Of material then they're going to put this recycled asphalt material down which looks like i think i saw that was already down yeah, it is. and then i asked them what they were going to do with dirt piles because of course when they excavated they had these dirt piles and they were going to smooth those out that looks like that's been done on one side so um we have to get 
hopping on the gates, or the committee does. Um, John Bryan from Recreation has a gate. I asked Jack to put um, barriers over the front of it when I said Monday, but they, there's no way. They had, it was still a big drop off Monday. They have the culvert in there now, a culvert pipe that DOT wanted. They were bringing it up. On the DOT permit, it said to have um, flare ends towards the 3A, and they did that. So um, we just need, we have to get on our signage and the gates. And um, I'm not sure we talked to anybody about boulders yet, but we've got to get that going. We're going to, the idea is to bring a fence down, either split rail or vinyl. I think we just decided on split rail, wood and so many feet, then bring the gate back far enough so that a fire truck could get in off the road. And um, then, then small barrier at the parking lot, like they have that sawmill low, and the guys are going to put that in, buy the material and put that in. And then another gate down, the, down at the parking area, signage down there. And, um, oh, Rick suggested an eight foot wide walkway going down so that if a pickup truck fire department had to get down there, they could. And that if people are carrying canoes back and forth, they could pass each other. So that's where that stands. It looks like I didn't ever think I'd live long enough to see this, but after <laughs> working on it since like 1995, <laughs> but it's actually happening. Now, how often are the police supposed what to? What was that? How often are the police supposed to go? The chief check said at. I believe he was at the hearing or he was at one meeting and they said they would open and close the gate daily. So we'll see what happens. Over at uh, Robinson Pond and a couple of the locations, a couple of the boat launches around the state, they have people occasionally stand out there and make sure boats that are being launched are don't carry any vegetation. That, yeah, sure that's from the state. It's the state program that's their, that does that's that. Their problem. Yeah. Okay. We're, it's, this is going to be posted Litchfield residents only. And I said that one of the committee meetings in the beginning, first couple weekends, we may have to sit down there and, you know, make sure people aren't coming in with trailers and using up all the parking spaces and reading the rules. And we have on quite a list of rules. And one was um, PFDs must be, you don't have to wear them. They have to be in the boat. And that's, that's a law. So that is the law, yeah. one person said, Oh, you can't do that. I said, yes, you can. That's the law. So, um, you know, hopefully it will work out. We'll have, no trespassing signs down at the river. It was a large tree, and the, our band is a little bit further over. Our property line is marked all the way down from 3A with, with the Berg's property. Um, we'll have no trespassing signs past this point. And uh, the guys did a good job on the signage to say, you know, respect the property, and otherwise it's going to be closed, basically. So, and then we hope to have a... Um, some kind of ribbon cutting oh, would be nice. when it officially opens. Any questions? Okay, the SNL projects at 476 Route 3A was approved. They received their um, ZBA special exception on April 11th to um, impact the wetland buffers and a small wetland impact down by a culvert, existing culvert. So uh, they have been approved. Their lot line was approved. Um, lot line will be recorded and they are good to go. After a 30 day, I guess they're gonna wait the 30 day appeal project pro process. Anything that gets approved has a 30 day appeal waiting period. They're gonna wait for that. What's that? Mel's Funway, they'll be on the May 1st planning board agenda. Uh, I expect they may get approved on uh, May 1st. They withdrew the lot line adjustment, the addition to the front of the laser plex, they withdrew, and they withdrew the paintball. So it's just the bumper boats and the kitty attractions. They're taking out the driving range and putting kitty attractions. They like um, bounce houses and a kitty bumper boat, kitty go kart, and a gem dive. Hmm. And the larger uh, bumper boats. So that's, I added um, number six, Morris Falls. The Eagle Scout finished his project. I don't know if anybody's been down there, but he's the plaques. The, well, he had the stanchions in and the boards, and now he's got the um, verbiage laminated and 
plexiglass over it of the, of the history of the canal system. So there's one at the parking lot, and then as you go down further, there's five or six more. And at the um, Block Tenders Foundation, he's got some uh, information. So it looks nice. Yeah. That was uh, William Parker was the Eagle Scout, is the Eagle Scout, or becoming an Eagle Scout. I forgot my calendar. Clean up um, our section of Route 3A. I usually like to get this done before Memorial Day when they have big to do for Memorial Day. So um, we could do it in the evening because it stays light, as long as it's not raining, it stays light. Um, 10th or the, anybody for the 10th, Thursday, the 10th? That's my birthday. Oh, we could have cake. <laughs> I expect you'd be there anyway. I'm not going to be back in town yet. I still have another week. I won't be back until the 18th. 18th, okay. Uh, May, May, there we are, 18th. Oh, that's a Friday. Yeah. can do it the 16th. R means the 21, 1, 2, 3, the 23rd. Oh, wait a minute. I'm looking at the wrong month. May. 16th is a Wednesday. What about May 16th? What's everybody feel about that one? Oh, you still wouldn't be back till the 18th? Still wouldn't be back, yeah. Okay. We need at least four people. And if we do it on a evening, the traffic is... Pretty, pretty, pretty you know, hefty. Traffic, Tom, pretty, pretty good traffic. Huh? traffic. Yeah. yeah. Saturday morning's traffic. Seven to seven. Is Roger at six? <laughs> yeah. I saw one, I saw one conservation commission. I think it was Alexandria. They actually had like police with them to make sure that they were safe when they were out cleaning up on the side of the road. Well, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to have two people, one direction, and one person watching the traffic, which really we should do because or, you know, stay well enough off the road. Mm -hmm. um, okay, our next meeting is May 23rd. One, two, three, four, May 23rd. So, 18th. We're going on the 18th. Uh, would you be terribly upset to do it May 18th, your last day of school? Um, Are you not back? I'm pretty, I'm, I gotta work out when my final exams are. I'm probably gonna be back on the 18th, but I might be able to get back a little earlier because I'm positive I have an exam on the 16th. So mm. I could come back on Thursday or Friday. So that might work. What about you, Harry? Are you interested in doing cleanup day? You could, could be, be the, you could be the watcher of the traffic. <laughs> Any date's good for me. Any date's good for you. What? I'm going to say, I'm going to one of those handheld clicker things, traffic coming. How about radar? <laughs> Even better. Don't we have uh, signs for like when, for like cleaning crew out? Yeah, we have, have to pick up the signs. Yeah, we have to pick up the signs over in London Dairy okay. and, and uh, the barn, highway garage, and put them at each end. Do, all, do we want to tenderly try May 18th? Sure. Yeah. At what? Five? Oh, the, <laughs> what? That's the one. Oh, the 18th is a Saturday, right? No, it's a Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. 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 Friday night. Okay, fine. So about uh, 5, 5, 5, 30. Shouldn't take more than, well, it's pretty messy, so it might take a little more than an hour. But it's still light at 6.30. 5.30? 7.30. Meet Still at, like till 7 30 and then 8 o'clock. Yeah. Meet at um, Fire Station. Firehouse. May 18th. Okay. Well, on Earth Day, there were several families that went out and cleaned up trash. I saw they had trash bags full of it. Oh, I, I, I picked up just because I happened to be waiting for somebody a little bit, just at that lot that we own north of the library, just about from here to the front door, and they had half a bag of stuff. It was amazing. <laughs> So, all righty, we'll try that May 18th. And, um, I also picked up a little bit around Parker Park because we don't go down that far. So I'll try and get in there. 
Watch, be mindful of ticks that day or any any day there. Pretty bad. All right, as I said, next meeting is May 23rd. We don't have a rainfall report. Um, anybody have any other pressing items that I forgot? Anything? I just forgot one thing. The Cub Scouts, if they, they express interest in helping us put the birdhouses up, but uh, obviously um, I don't know exactly when. Well, Morris Falls would be a good place to take them because they, you know, they'd be away from the traffic and everything, and that would be like you know, just they'd have to, and that would be good to teach them to tuck their pants into their socks because Morris Falls is a known hot spot for ticks. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> so if we can get the posts, and remind me to give you Roger's number. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, the trees for the Arbor Project, Arbor Day, who? Who sent me the, did you? Somebody sent me. Okay, I know who it was. <laughs> William Parker. <laughs> Sorry, there was neither one of you. Huh. William Parker, the Eagle Scout. Somebody contacted him about trees. They have seedlings of maple and two other varieties. I asked Kevin if he thought of a place to put some seedlings, maybe at Jeff Lane, because Morse Falls, if we mow, they're just gonna probably get run over. Um, think of any other place to put seedlings? Maybe, um, maybe along the fence line at um, Brickyard Park, the soccer field. I have to contact John Bryant. I got a ton of acorns growing and sprouting up with <laughs> seedlings. John Bryant. Okay, I'll email him. Alrighty, um, I, I found the November 9th minutes. If you guys want to look at the November 9th minutes, Tom, you can, if you want to take over, get them to um, prove those in January. And I want to get that memory and understanding. Can you grab me just a plain piece yeah. of paper? Thanks. Any questions on the next minutes? <clears throat> Does anybody remember what happened at the bat box? That the that That's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> the, bat. the bat boxes. And your little batty. <laughs> no. <laughs> I remember we were going to make them. Or no, no, we have the one big metal. We have the one big one that we own. I don't Actually, think no, the mosquito committee owns it, but I think we ended up with something else. I don't think it's been put up yet. No. But Joan was supposed to check with uh, Richard, the guy who lives on the corner, Nesson Cake, and no, well, no, he lives in the corner of Ricky. I'd right near your house, Jack. Dad has the bucket truck. Just forget your house is coming from Pine Crest Road. Um, it's same. He's the same company. Oh, okay. I'll, um, I'll okay, I'll just, well, when Joan gets back, I'll have to ask her because I know he. <clears throat> I just was wondering what the status so that if anything had happened with that. I think we've talked about that going down at Derek Pond, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. Remember that bat box was in this room, leaning right yeah, up right. against the wall right there when that was when I first started working at LCT two right, years yeah. ago. Oh, that's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that thing's been around. <laughs> it hasn't caught a bat yet either. No. <laughs> I tell you, I still think I have bats hanging out in the eaves of my house. If I stand out when it's getting dark, mm -hmm. I can watch them take flight and head yeah, out deep. They'll get, they'll get right in the eaves, they'll get right in the soffit. Yeah. And they'll, uh, they'll find themselves a good a good nesting spot. So anybody want to make a motion on the November 9th minutes? Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion. Is there a second? I'll second it. Move and second it. All in favor signify by saying aye. Oh, wait a minute. I quit second it. Oh. We'll, we'll move. Hey. I did. Yeah. Okay. And Harry seconded. And I couldn't second it because I'm not a voting member. I'm not a voting member tonight, yeah. Uh, who, who seconded it, you? I'll second it. Yeah. <laughs> All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Have you abstaining? Huh? Yeah. Okay, on the, the only ones I've got is I get the March 28th ones. I, I haven't got the others that I can find. So these are the ones that she sent us.
We approved the November. We, we approved the November nine minutes. We, the question I had was the bat. What happened with the bat box? Did you talk to? Thank you. Yeah, I did, and I got his phone number at election day, and. Uh, yeah, so I saw, I did speak to him a few weeks back, and he was saying, "Would just wait for I guess to hear from him." Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think I formally appointed Matt as um alternate alternate voting member, so I'm appointing him as voting member. He's not voting for anything. So, so like November's said, done. November's done. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And I'm looking at March now because I don't think I have the other ones. No, we did. We had November. I have to locate the December. I didn't do December. You didn't do December. <laughs> oh, we did. We approved December. I think it's September. We have to okay. Okay, so November is approved today. There was a whole stretch where I didn't go to meet. It was like six months long. Okay, eighteen. Okay, so we're doing January. Okay, I found January. I mean, uh, excuse me, March. I, I was doing March, but that's what you said. Yeah, mm -hmm. we we um did January last month. I was here. Was I here March twenty eighth? Yeah, because this is April. You can vote on them even if you weren't here. Uh, but where was, are you? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not, not there. You're not there. <laughs> <laughs> but I was here. <laughs> okay, so add Mary. Okay. Okay, there's a motion over here. What's the second? Who made the motion? Yeah. I'll second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Are you Great. Yeah, I'll do it again. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. No, you don't count. Jack. Jack wasn't appointed. Yeah. Okay. Great. So this is the memorandum of understanding construction and long-term maintenance of the Merrimack River Access Facility. Um, I don't think the selectmen approved yet. I think because it was the first draft that they just saw Monday. Um, I mentioned to Troy that, oh, he's going to add the public hearing that the um, selectman had. And I mentioned, this just talks about part of that parcel, and it should be clear that the Conservation Commission retains um, control of the rest of the parcel, All of the selectmen will be leasing it. Hmm? You lost me. So the selectmen, the selectmen are the ones who are supposed to lease the parcel. We have been doing, but yeah, right. technically it's supposed to be the selectmen. If they go any more than one year lease, it has to go to town meeting. So don't really want to do that. Um, now what about our other piece on the other end that we're doing? Well, so this is just this memorandum is just that, talking just about the just to be the one behind the fire station and stuff, but that's private. Well, that's that. The one behind the fire station is agriculture. They own it. It's agricultural preservation easement that we have on it. Um, so the, I think there should be something in here that the, out of the 13 acres, he has 13 acres up top, but that Conservation Commission still retains not ownership, but um, has a saying what happens to the rest of it, you know, that you can't build anything on it or things like that. Yeah. So is that portion where the boat launches, that's being uh, essentially turned over to the Recreation Commission? Just as far as um, operations go. Operations, yeah, day-to-day -day operations. And then any, it says if there are any major changes to the agreement, um, the select would have, to, would have to, not to the agreement, but to the establishment of it, the, the uh, selectman would have to approve. I think I read that somewhere. And the river access subcommittee shall report directly to the board of selectmen. However, any substantial changes 
to the approved scope of work, and he's going to attach attached a map, shall be reviewed by the Conservation Commission before Board of Selectmen final approval. Then upon completion, the Recreation Commission shall accept full responsibility of day-to-day -day management of the facility. Okay. And the committee is, a, the committee did the, the research and so on on the actual launches. Uh, they have by a, a gone when this is done. So see you, the what do you mean, what? The Bowl Launch Committee. Yeah, the subcommittee here. Yeah. Um, yeah, that probably should be in here. That should be in there. Yeah. The ball is gone. Yeah. And they'll be signing a new one for the boat launch. Well, they've turned it over to the. Um, well, it says in here upon completion, the recreation shall accept full responsibility. And then in that same sentence, probably should say in the subcommittee is. Hereby. 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 Good point. A request decided to come in already on when they're going to have a full boat launch. I had three requests this week from people uh, about what when there will be a full boat launch at that location. A full, what do you mean, a full boat launch? Going back in with a the boat and a jet ski, there won't be, yeah, <laughs> there won't yeah. be, yeah, they can't get that. Well, now that there's an eight foot walkway, well, there's a world away. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I bet there's going to be people trying, though. Mm -hmm. Especially with that it would like they put white path. Well, yeah. but there's gonna be a gate there, so they're not gonna be able to back down. Yeah, unless the boat cut it apart. <laughs> and that's why I guess it we'll be a, sitting there. There's a will there's a way. <laughs> and there's other people from out of town planning on coming in. There's other people from town planning on getting their power boats in there. Yeah. So. Um well so if you see anything else in here, email me in the next couple of days. So you're sending that out. No, I just this I just gave you a copy. Can I give you a copy? No. Sorry, wait a minute. Let me write my note of this. Um, that's why I have an extra one. A copy, yes. <laughs> I, I, I got a copy. I made enough, but I, I wrote, let me just write this note on this page. I think that was that second page right there. Was yeah. That it? I think for oh, the I first copy. couple weeks. Oh, this is my own notes. There you go. That's yours. <laughs> Thank you. Somebody should monitor that area. Yeah, that's what we, we had decided. Yeah, but abolished. Okay. Should I get you a whistle? <laughs> pretend you're at the fishing, fishing derby. derby. <laughs> yeah, just put your fishing so derby hat on. Stop breaking the lance, the branches. And <laughs> Anything else to discuss? So I, I did have uh, one question. So sure. what was it this last week? We had there were two brush fires, significant brush fires on the same street over on Burgess. I heard of one but Sunday. One, but one was a brush fire. But I thought there was another fire caused by somebody illegally burning, yes, right. and it That's turned true. into a brush fire. So yeah. do and I, I always go down to like Parker Park and Morse Falls, and I always see a lot of cigarette butts down there. So is there like a concern, like in a time of drought, someone's going to go down there to smoke or something, toss it and start a fire, there are rules related to keeping people from smoking down there? No. 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 It's There's just all America. What about us? You, you, you couldn't you enforce smoke. that. What what about, um, there is a, I did see brush for a brush fire, not remnants of a small brush fire at Morris Falls. Down at the shore? No, actually at the trail, at the oh, bot, okay. by the trolley trail. Maybe somebody flipped the cigarette butt out. Yeah. No, that was a that. little... No, there's not. I mean, you could never enforce that. Yeah. There was a fire, I think, last night, also a brush fire. Where? I um, didn't get to the scanner in time to hear where. I think that's what he referred to on Bridges. Was the yeah. One. That, um, so do, regarding uh, like rules to um, conservation lands, do we have any? or is At Parker Park, there, um, which was given by the Parkers way back before my time, there was something about, I know, Cecilia told me a long time ago, alcoholic beverages, if there was any there, then it would revert back to the parkers. But that, that probably should be published. I should probably tell John Bryan about that also. We used to have, we used to have little charcoal grills down there, too. We yeah, to yeah. The parker park, you had to go down there and have a cookout. So yeah. There's, there's it's, pedestals. I've seen that. Uh, like they, Merrimack, they, um, they have a on their website on the town of Merrimack, they have a list of like under, it's called the rules of conduct for what can and can't be done. That's a good the idea. Properties. And yeah. they were um, approved by the townspeople at the annual, at their annual voting time. And it talks about rules of conduct, violations and penalties and the designation of conservation areas. For, for their, for their, specifically for their parks? Yes. And recreation areas? Mm -hmm. 
I'll take a look First at that Merrimack. I'd like to go around and pick up all the needles and things like Don't that. Don't pick up the needles. Oh, yeah. Call the police department. Pick up yeah, the well, have a canister or something with you. I don't know. Because another... now that the baseball seasons are opening up again for kids, they're going to be all out at the little baseball field. Have you seen evidence of that? This year. This year? Of needles and things? Yeah. No. Somebody reported uh, a couple needles being found at the intersection of uh, Albuquerque and Pinecrest, I believe, over by the fire hydrant there. That's where Roger, when he used to walk that way, years, like five, six years ago, would find a lot there. In the high school? No, no, Pinecrest and Albuquerque. Oh, Pinecrest and Albuquerque. Oh, well, okay, it's good always I I know drug activity has picked up in this town. No, the whole nation. Well, the whole, yeah, I mean, this well, town is no exemption. Where you market. never heard of all the ODs and things you get now. So, um, j are. just to go back, so there's no rules against not having fires as well? Um, well I think, fi yes, fires are rare because you can't have a fire without a permit. You can't get a royal permit. Okay. So back in five years ago, you had the charcoal grills that they're actually down there as permanent fixtures, which yeah. have deteriorated and gone away. I mean, well, they got if you furnish a grill, you furnish the right to use it. Yeah. But there's nothing like that otherwise. So yeah. In that okay. sense, well, I guess you could say, yeah, there is. Mm -hmm. But it's not hard and fast and written. I mean, just yeah. the fact you are supposed to have a permit. Okay. I was just curious. Some of the other things in life, you're supposed to have a permit. I'll, I'll look at the time. Right? That's an interesting idea. It was just Don Bryan has to say. I was just concerned considering that brush fires are becoming more frequent. They could for the land. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They are. Could turn into vegetation and get new growth, and it's actually beneficial. But like turning into something more significant, more deep. Like we had one, one time back when I was chief, we had 28 towns in helping us mutual aid. It was so big. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. How so many acres was it? 150. Yeah. 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 20 years ago, there was a brush fire on the river, both on the, uh, yeah, on the Merrimack side. Remember that one? Yeah, right. The train, train side, the one on the Merrimack yeah. side. Yeah. That was uh, kind of scary watching that one. Yeah. yeah. Wind, if the wind was blowing your way. <laughs> well, the fire was moving faster than they could catch up you to can't it. catch up with a fire on, you know, when, the, when the wind is blowing, yeah. especially on a hill. It goes up the hill so fast. And, you know, mm. yeah. So jump the river? Okay. No, I never jumped the river, but nervous, huh? they, were, they were trying to cut it off, and the wind, I don't even remember if the wind was blowing. But it, it was moving. Its own, it makes its own anyhow. Pardon? Big enough fire. It makes up right? its own wind anyhow. It's yeah, but it was moving so fast, they'd come down to the where the South Hegan is, where the yep. you know railroad bridges, and it had moved a hundred yards past that. That's how fast it was moving. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hmm. All, hey, valid, all valid concerns, but there really isn't much you can do about yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Stupidity supreme. And, uh, people gonna drop a match or drop a cigarette, and right now we. Not a problem tonight. Yeah. The day before really? it was. And yeah, but it, as soon as you get a couple of warm days and the wind picks up, it's amazing how fast the mm -hmm. leaf litter dries out. Yeah, because your, 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 your actual surface dries fast and the ground itself is still soaking wet. You yeah. You're walking, you sink in the mud. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody got anything else? Um, I put up one of the signs oh, that's right. at um, the Burke Street property. And I have a second one that's going to go up with that marked location that Mr. Lynch has marked. Oh, good. Yeah, we went down. Did you go with us that day? No. No, I didn't. Um, on on uh, Campbell Drive. What sign was that? And we have signs that say um, this property maintained by the Conservation Commission. Oh, okay. So Matthew put up one at Bird Street. I meant to go over there the other yesterday and take a look, make sure it was still there. That. Yeah, that thing could probably be scooped up pretty quick and then um when you get bird street i have to go with you to show you the area because there's a butters that <laughs> they shoot you <laughs> no just kidding <laughs> they'll come running <laughs> just they'll only wound you they won't kill yeah. you yeah. <laughs> so um yeah that's that was good that that one i had a couple posts left i gave them to matt and he got the, the easter weekend so, all right, so we have May 18th, the cleanup, May 23rd, next date for a meeting, and no fishing derby this year, but the um, Londonary Fishing Game, is that open to the public? 
Um, no. It, it's May 6th. It's but it's not open to the public? It's supposed to be for members only. Well, yes. we shouldn't be publicizing no. it. But, <laughs> but what? Same as with our area, people show up from wherever. Okay, well, we won't tell them how to get in there. Right. <laughs> we'll say we never refused anybody who yeah, showed up. Kids, yeah, okay. kids, so. And the access is still the same way as it used to be in, through the development? It's the access? Well, it's right off of Lund Road. Well, I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> yeah, it's right off of Lund Road. And there's a new gate that we had put up over there, so. Okay. All righty. I'll be there. Good. I'm glad you only have to do one fishing derby this year. Right now we're fighting the beavers of moves then. Beavers and more smalls? No, over the London Dairy okay. Fishing Game Club Pond. Wow. They really did lo relocate, didn't they? Apparently. I guess two of them had some sort of illness or something from... Hmm. I guess there must be some lead contamination over there. Oh, gee, I wonder. I couldn't believe that. <laughs> make a motion to adjourn before we get in trouble. Yeah, really. I second. Tom and Matt made a motion to adjourn at 744. Six? Four. <laughs> 44. 744. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And the meeting is adjourned, 744. <laughs> Thank you all for Thank coming you. out. Please, tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> I was going to say, because I